Welcome back YouTube. We're uh, moving on to discuss some other things. We've talked about food, water, rations. Um, we discussed you know, a little bit about MREs and how to prepare them and a few of the, the basic sort of things that you might uh, want to have laying around. We're going to move on to uh, field uh, preparation in terms of uh, being able to live outside um, in a potentially hostile environment. Uh, such as one that you may find in a, uh, you know, as I said, in, in a situation of political unrest or uh, natural disaster or zombie invasion or whatever you want to uh, consider it to be. Um, this gear here, we're going to talk about each piece a little bit and kind of move on. Um, we've got a whole lot to cover, but uh, this gear should uh, definitely assist you in your uh, efforts uh, to survive. Now, um, obviously, there's an old saying in the uh, military that goes, pack light, freeze at night. And what's uh, basically meant by that is you want to be able to move fast, you want to be able to pack light. However, there's a certain amount of preparation that you need to make in everything you do. So basically, sometimes less is more, and sometimes if you don't have enough, you're going to have a bad day. Now, these items that are represented here are some of the things you might want to have. Now, I'm not saying this is all you need. I'm not saying that, um, you know, these are the items you need. This is just the kind of stuff that I would probably want to have uh, laying around. Now, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't carry every single swing in one of these items. But anyway, let's get started because we've, we've got a whole lot of stuff to cover here. Um, the, basic, the basic framework of any kind of gear you're going to be toting in the field is going to be what's called a rucksack. Now, this is a this is a frameless rucksack that I just picked up at the uh, Army Navy store. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this one is East German. Um, it is a frameless rucksack. It's very comfortable. Now, granted, uh, on a frameless rucksack, you're not going to be uh, able to carry quite as much weight, but you can generally stuff them you know, full of crap, and this particular one is rubber lined, so it's waterproof. And in addition, I have a military issue waterproof bag, and it is charcoal rubber lined, and that offers you additional protection. We're going to move on to that in a minute. And I just have a Camelback hydration system, uh, just kind of jerry rigged onto the back of it. That way, when you're walking, you get sips of water. Uh, this one holds two liters of water, I believe, or one liter. Um, so that's your rucksack. Of course, uh, you can pack this thing pretty dang full to the brim, and it'll probably weigh about 40 pounds. Uh, on a frameless, you're only going to get probably about 30 to 40 pounds out of it. Any more weight, and you're, uh, you're probably pushing the uh, structural integrity of the rucksack, and over time, it's going to start to rip apart on you. Uh, you know, me, myself, I like to take the bare essentials, what I, you know, barely what I need to get by. And everything. So there's your rucksack. All right, you you want to carry some change of clothes with you. In this case, I've just got military issue uh, ripstop summer weight BDUs. Um, if you're going to be in any kind of cold weather, you might want to have some polypropylenes. Now, again, I'm not saying that you have to have this stuff. I'm just giving you suggestions. Um, the uniforms aren't quite as big of a deal as socks are. You want to carry plenty of socks. Because I'm telling you, when those dogs start getting all nasty, you're going to be happy you have some dry socks. Carry lots of socks, you know, a couple of t-shirts, maybe a pair of underwear, just the basics. Like I said, you're not wanting to, you know, get crazy, but pack the bare, you know, basics that you need. So th this is basically your carrying system that you're going to be toting all this stuff in. Uh, let's move on. We're going to cover some first aid stuff. I got, you know, a compass gas mask, a few other odds and ends. Let's just discuss a few things. And again, like I said, this is real generic, generalized across the board to give you, you know, an idea of what you may want to have. Okay, we talked about the carrier system, which would be your rucksack or other type of backpacking system. Now we're going to discuss weaponry. Um, in a survival situation, you may be in instances where you have to protect yourself from either animals or other people looters, bandits, robbers, 
rogue government, whatever, but you need to be able to protect yourself. Now I have here a few representative examples of the type of weaponry you could carry. If you have a good, accurate, tack driving bolt action rifle, even if it's a hunting rifle, if you can shoot good with it, by all means carry it. Um, this gun right here, I could make effective shots on individuals or whatever out to six to 700 yards with this rifle. So 300 Winchester Magnum, no problem, okay? That's just me now, everyone's different. And here's an example, this is a little Ruger Mini 14. If you wanna carry an AR, AK-47, whatever, if you wanna you know, be able to put down uh, multiple shots and multiple targets, that's something you may wanna you know, have, an automatic rifle of some sort. You definitely wanna have some sort of handgun. In this case, a Colt 1911. Uh, would be my weapon of choice. You know, you want to have a sidearm of some sort. So, you know, basically, just remember, whatever you carry has got to be on your back. You're going to be carrying it around, lugging it. you got to carry the ammunition. you got to carry magazines. you got to carry the weapon. you got to carry everything you need to keep it clean and serviceable, okay? So just bear that in mind, whatever you carry. I mean, it's your baby. you got to take care of it. Now, we're talking about weaponry. Um, this here is called a low bearing vest. Now, the Army has a couple of different styles that you can get. And now, if you go to any Army Navy store, you'll be able to um, come across basically ones that are made in different countries. I mean, you can get anything ranging from uh, East German, Bulgarian, you can get Pakistani ones, French ones, you know, American surplus. This is the older style pistol belt system that uses a somewhat modular. Alice clips and you know see these snaps that just snap onto the belt uh, these are grenade pouches which you can keep first aid or like in this case 20 round magazines in there the larger pouches will hold 30 round magazines uh, I'm not sure if they'll fit an AK-47 mag or not I might go get one and test it but essentially it's made to be a load bearing vest that keeps the weight on your shoulders so it doesn't put a lot of strain on your back and it is fully adjustable uh, you can hold about 120 rounds of ammunition, 5.56. Five, so for many of you, this may be a viable option. As you can see, I carry a pair of flex cuffs on this one just in case. Uh, actually, I have several pairs of flex cuffs, but this one just stays on me all the time. Um, for some of you, you might want to be a little lighter and faster and not worry about this. You know, like if you're using a, the 300 Win Mag and you just carry a, a, a small belt of ammunition with you, I mean, you got to think. In a uh, harassment interdiction, uh, you know, when, when you're worrying about harassment interdiction with a larger force than you, you're not going to be firing more than a few shots anyway. You're going to pop your shots and you're going to get the hell out of there. That's why my three, the 300 is the weapon of choice for me because it allows me to put very fast, hard, accurate shots on what I'm wanting to shoot at and then get the hell out of there and be on my way. You know, with automatics, you tend to want to stick around and shoot more. And in certain situations, that could get you dead. So that's just my opinion. So anyway, this is just one method of carrying ammunition and gear, the load-bearing vest. We have more to cover. Let's move on.